This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the global automotive industry. President Trump says he wants to take Goodyear tires off the presidential limousine in all Secret Service vehicles. In fact, he wants everyone to boycott Goodyear. Well, this is all because of an uproar on social media over an internal Goodyear training presentation that included, amongst other things, a ban on employees wearing hats printed with Make America Great Again. Goodyear was quick to say the presentation was not created or distributed by the company. But it didn't explain why the presentation was made or who did it. Well, here's our Autoline Insight. Will the president really go through with this? Well, remember Goodyear is the last American-owned tire maker with a significant OEM business. Cooper Tire is also an American company, but mainly sells to the aftermarket. So, if President Trump goes through with this ban on Goodyear tires, the presidential limousine and Secret Service vehicles will probably be riding on tires made by a Japanese or Korean or French or Chinese-owned company. Ford wants to make roads safer by using data from connected vehicles and roadside sensors. The automaker is leading a consortium that will launch an 18-month trial in England this summer. Data from 700 connected cars and commercial vehicles will be combined with information from 100 smart sensors located between Oxfordshire and London. Driving patterns, such as brake and gas pedal usage, as well as steering wheel angles will be recorded from the vehicles. While the sensors will detect near misses on the road and analyze movement patterns of pedestrians and cyclists. The goal will be to develop a digital tool that can predict accident hotspots and then provide that tool to cities so they can make changes to improve safety. And the solutions could be as simple as cutting back vegetation to make road signs more visible. The world is changing at an ever-increasing pace. No matter what the mode of transportation, there is always the need for an efficient propulsion system. And that's exactly what Borg Warner has been doing since the earliest days of the automotive industry. We want to know what drives your testing. OTA, connected car, diagnostics, remote testing, Intrepid Control Systems is here to help you work from anywhere. Intrepid Control Systems, driven by your data. Lucid claims its air sedan will be the fastest charging EV ever. It will be able to charge at a rate of up to 20 miles per minute, which means in just 20 minutes, the air could have 300 miles of range. Lucid says it was able to achieve this with a 900 plus volt electrical system, custom battery cells, and a sophisticated thermal management system. The air also has an onboard charging unit dubbed the Wonder Box that automatically boosts voltage to charge the vehicle at the fastest possible rate. More information about the air will be revealed during its official debut on September 9th. Well, another day, another EV startup. This startup is called ECD Automotive Design, which is converting Land Rover Defenders and Range Rovers to use Tesla drivetrains. The company says it will offer a 450 horsepower version that will power an electric Defender from 0 to 60 in 5 seconds. An optional 600 horsepower version will do it in 3 seconds. And they call the electric Defender an E-Lander. ECD puts 100 kilowatt hour batteries in its vehicles, which it says will deliver between 125 and 250 miles of range, depending on the vehicle and how it's driven. The company is based in Kissimmee, Florida, and says its vehicles can be sold in all 50 states, and they go on sale later this year. In other EV news, Chinese automaker NIO is launching a battery leasing service. Those who decide to opt in will not own the battery pack, but will rather pay a monthly rental fee. We did not find out what that fee will be, but the service knocks more than 10 grand from the price of NIO's ES6 SUV. If there ever is a problem with one of those packs, all of NEO's vehicles have identically sized and swappable battery packs, and the EV maker currently operates 143 battery swapping stations around China and plans to build 300 more next year. Well, here's our Autoline Insight. 
NEO should be able to get more people to consider an EV with the service. But it also puts the automaker at a competitive disadvantage because it wouldn't be able to adopt new technologies, you know, like CATL, integrating cells right into the frame of a vehicle. The London Electric Vehicle Company, or LEVC for short, which builds the iconic London black cabs, is expanding its business. Its TX Electric Taxi, which is already available in Europe, will be introduced in Japan, the Middle East, Australia, and New Zealand. It also wants to build up a sales and service network throughout Europe, and it currently exports 10% of its vehicles, but wants to boost that to 60% by 2022. LEVC is also launching a second vehicle, an electric van called the VN5. It has a range of 480 kilometers, or about 300 miles, and it only takes 30 minutes to fully charge. LEVC is owned by Chinese automaker Geely, or what we recently found out is pronounced Geely. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires. Your journey, our passion. Intrepid Control Systems. Over the Air Engineering. Boost Your Game. And by Borg Warner. Propulsion Solutions that support a clean, energy efficient world. A new autonomous shuttle service just launched in the city of Detroit to help people get to and from hospital appointments. While it's not open to the public and is only available to residents in two communities in the city, it's a complimentary service. It's available to senior citizens, the disabled, and those who don't own or can't afford a vehicle. The shuttle travels along a 1.3 mile pre-programmed route with a safety operator on board. A number of partners are involved, but the main ones are self-driving company Navia, which operates the shuttle, and the state of Michigan. The service recently kicked off and will run until mid-October. There are all kinds of filters in your car that need to be changed as part of its regular maintenance. But did you know that fuel cells need fuel filters too? That's why the supplier Mala developed two different fuel filter sizes for hydrogen-powered vehicles. While fuel cells are still in their infancy for commercial applications, Mala says it's putting these filters on the shelf so that automakers can have ready access to them as they bring fuel cells to the market. The filters prevent ammonia, unwanted hydrocarbons, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and nitrogen oxides from reaching the cell. That makes the fuel cell more efficient and lasts longer. Say, want to learn more about that powerful Ram TRX? Then join us later this afternoon for AutoLine After Hours when Jeff Rosselli from the TRX program comes on the show. And if you've got any questions you'd like to ask Jeff, send us an email to viewermail at autoline.tv or tweet us at AutoLine. Then join John and Gary for some of the best insights as to what's going on in the automotive industry. And that's it. We're out of news for now, but don't worry, we'll have plenty more tomorrow.